All right, I'm back with the final update on my uh, Barry and Buggy build. Let's uh, take a look, walk around here. So, standard Beetle front end, um, all original parts. I haven't painted it yet. I actually was assembling this during the winter and it's cold up here and the paint doesn't adhere very well. So I'll have to pull this back off and then throw a coat of paint on it. Um, a few things to note here. There was a uh, LED lamp in the middle there that turns on and off with the uh, high beams. Uh, you can see there's a winch halyard, so there's a winch. And uh, this one actually has a sway bar. This is uh, meant to be a street legal uh, bug here in uh, my particular state. Here we can see uh, window washer reservoir. That uh, black box right down there is housing the contactor for the winch. And the winch is actually hidden back up under here. Went with the uh, Optima AGM battery. Here's the uh, dual cylinder uh, master brake cylinder. There's the where the fluid will go. And these are the uh, revolver wheels I picked up for it. Uh, HDPE uh, quarter inch uh, panels on the sides there. Footrest for the uh, passenger gas tank. I tried to put as much weight in the front as I could. Uh, it's been my experience that if you don't have some weight up front here that it uh, tends to push when you try and turn and you put the gas on at the same time. So I've tried to balance the weight. Also, I did not want this gas tank hanging over my head in the back where they're normally put. Uh, kind of a safety issue. Here's the uh, window washer motor. I actually shortened the arm on this so that it uh, strokes uh, very very short and actually matches the uh, small windshield that I had to put on here. This is a uh, flat glass, uh, green tint, kind of a uh, traditional color for uh, flat glass. Move around to the cockpit. Here you can see uh, some of those features. Let's look up under here. There's a, uh, I have sun visors, a mirror, and uh, some hand uh, grab handles. Uh, in between the grab handles there in the middle, uh, I have a uh, Cobra 75. In the back here, we've got the dome light, turned on and off at the dome light itself. Uh, a five-point harness. Uh, here you can see the grab handles and the emergency brake for the uh, cutting brakes and the emergency brake. Aftermarket uh, shifter and housing for the uh, fire extinguisher. This is a uh, removable steering wheel. You can see it also includes a tilt mechanism. Makes uh, ingress and egress quite a bit easier. Uh, there's a uh, rear view mirrors on both sides. Tachometer, uh, speedometer. And went to some pains to make all the lights work on that. Here's the dash setup. It's, uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, there's a uh, Switch on the upper left there is emergency flashers. The uh, lights are below that. In the middle is a uh, tachometer. Then there's a, a horn above the ignition switch. Oil pressure switch in the middle there with the uh, washer wiper, uh, the, the wiper washer uh, button. There's a uh, power outlet there for uh, 12 volt power. Then there's the uh, hand, the switch for the uh, wipers themselves. Underneath that cover there is a uh, marine grade uh, Boss uh, Bluetooth stereo. And let's back up and kind of get an overall look here. As you can see, the uh, the cover on the top is actually a HDPE to uh, get this bend in it here. I. Uh, Use the heat gun. Turns out this HDPE will uh, actually relax a little bit and uh, hold its shape once it cools down. So that was a uh, that was a nice nice thing to have. Otherwise, it would have just been sticking up. It looks much better with the folded edge. And then uh, here's some of my sheet metal work for doing the uh, metal around the windshield. And that just sits on a frame on the inside. And you can kind of see that uh, here. 
and I just used a 3M uh, window adhesive to actually fix that. This light cluster here is my uh, third brake light and the reverse light. This is a uh, tongue box, uh, aluminum tongue, bo tongue box that uh, fit in there very nicely. So I was uh, happy to find one that fit so well and used uh, some uh, dog dishes to actually cover the uh, speakers. And I have uh, removable panels down in, inside here that I can get to the storage underneath, which uh, has everything I would need to change a uh, tire. Of course, here's our uh, motor. Now I do have a uh, do have a sway bar for the rear as well. You can see it coming down under there and it actually attaches to the uh, spring plates right down there and I doubled up on the uh, attachment points for that uh, sway bar that's that's here that's the uh, CB antenna <clears throat> lead I have to uh, take that to someone who can actually put on a BNC connector uh, this copper line right here brings uh, oil pressure up to the dash and here is the uh, spare tire carrier you can kind of see how that attaches uh, everything is uh, removable and that winch right there is actually accessed through this tube you need a special handle to actually reach that uh, underneath that license plate is an oil cooler and this actually this engine actually came out of a uh, auto stick which has a dual oil pump one side pumps the uh, oil for the engine and the other side pumps ATF fluid so for the side that was pumping the ATF fluid I uh, opened a passage up to bring in uh, oil from the engine that's the uh, little L shape you see on the bottom there coming out uh, that 90 degree uh, street L and that comes in feeds the pump that feeds hot oil <clears throat> over here into the uh, tube that goes under the manifold to preheat the manifold from there it comes out of the uh, preheater for the manifold here and goes up to a uh, fuel filter spin on fuel filter here and in that built into that uh, Plumbing for the fuel filter is the switch for the oil cooler, which is over here. So it flows from this uh, oil filter to the uh, oil cooler. And if it's uh, warm enough, it'll actually turn the fan on and add a little extra cooling. And then it pumps back into the block from there. So that's a complete circuit on one side, separate from the uh, side of the oil pump that actually supplies oil to the engine. Here's another look at the uh, rear. Let's uh, back off a little bit here so you can get a good look at the entire thing. And the spare tire, of course, is held down by that uh, winch cable. Uh, cover for the uh, intake there for the uh, engine uh, air cooling. All of uh, my wiring has been put into uh, braided uh, cable housing and all of the connectors are uh, waterproof automotive type uh, cable connectors. And the idea here is I can snap all these loose that uh, disconnects everything that's attached to the back clip here. Take these bolts out on both sides and I can actually take the back clip off. Uh, of course I have to remove the spare tire carrier when I do that operation as well. Um, and that gives you better access to the, uh, the engine and the transaxle. Uh, a lot of powder coated parts. Uh, everything that's not powder coated is actually painted with uh, a black uh, one step epoxy. It's a VHT suspension paint. Getting hard to find, but uh, a great paint. And here you can actually see how the uh, cutting brakes are uh, installed. 
They have some, uh, some sliders there for the uh, emergency brake cables to be pulled tight or if you pull on either handle it'll actually grab independently on whatever cable which gets redirected through those pulleys down at the bottom, the silver pulleys, and goes to the side that you want to actually apply the brakes to. That white pulley is a uh, just a spring and it maintains tension against the handles so that they're not flopping around whenever you're uh, bouncing down the road. And uh, you can pull up one handle and it just puts more tension against the other handle but also has tension on it. So it uh, kind of uh, distributes the uh, tension back against the handles through that pulley. Uh, seats are covered. And if we look from this side, you can see the uh, rear view mirror on this side. The uh, sun visor here. And the sun visor actually swings out so that it can be uh, used on the side as well. And here's the glove box. And not sure if you can see it, but down in there, uh, the, glove, the dash needs to be pulled back out, taken apart, and uh, actually painted as well. It was uh, too cold to paint when I was assembling everything, and I went ahead and mocked it all up and got everything ready. Inside there, you can see there's a uh, power outlet. That's uh, actually a USB. It's got two USBs uh, plug-ins, so you can charge your phone. And that's pretty much the Barry and Buggy build in just a few minutes. So thanks for joining me.